Trusting you with what our students do, but there are, uh, I'm not, I'm not uh, the, the world expert on this. There are some, some uh, people that have done this before and probably uh, much uh, more powerful uh, data sets and, and software. But uh, one uh, professor who's at uh, South Florida does, uh, did, did this study about uh, 2006 or so, I think, where a similar basically feature, uh, a sinkhole underneath clay, so they had to um, be able to uh, image it with, uh, through the, the overlying clay. And, um, some of the programs that are used, uh, if you get the data collected at like a 10 centimeter interval, you can get a lot of really detail uh, as far as uh, animating who can zoom up and down through them or around them. You can get all kinds of things. So we're hoping to improve the equipment we have a little bit to do more um, with what we're doing with uh, different types of singles, but this is. Um, not too different from what we've done. But another way of, we've had some difficulty like getting our equipment to see uh, beneath the, uh, we really like to be able to see to the floor and aquifer. And uh, there's another type of uh, geophysics called resistivity, which will um, basically you put out a bunch of rods in the ground and uh, you hook them up to um, like a battery basically, you transmit electricity and then you um, measure it. Back. This is a study where they did both the upper grade images or radar profiles and then the uh, colored ones are <coughs> using this resistivity. And um, it shows you change differences in water really well. Whether the water, particularly in these limestone areas, the water tends to be very, um, uh, have uh, carbonate in it, which is um, pretty highly conductive. And then if you have uh, water that's surface water, is going to be lower conductive or higher uh, in resistivity. And so you can see the surface uh, part of this is redder and browner. That's because it's uh, uh, the water has um, less carbonate in it, basically. And then the groundwater is blue because it's uh, highly conductive or low in resistivity. So combining radar and resistivity, you can get really powerful information different size. You don't, you don't get as nice an image from the resistivity as far as the uh, geometry of a sinkhole or something like that, but you get information about the water that's in there and some of the um, chemistry of the rocks. This is often referred to as an electrical resistivity tomography. Basically, it's kind of like, uh, tomography means kind of like uh, your um, uh, MRI. So you're, it's basically a uh, three-dimensional uh, processing of uh, electrical data. This is sort of what you do.